Monumental hopes. Wedge is gravely concerned for his missing companion. I'm fine now, thanks to you, but I can't bear to think that Biggs is still all alone in the cold, with garlands on his heels. He lured the enemy away for my sake, and now he's suffering for it. I hate to have to rely on you again, Lavenza, but do you think you could search for Biggs? I haven't the slightest notion where he might be at the mo where he might be at the moment, but maybe, just maybe, the people here have seen something. A rugged and gentleman dressed in the same manner as your companion? I'm sorry, but he did not come by here. Hmm. Let me think a moment. I would not raise your hopes unduly, but there is a cave situated a short distance to the south. We call it the Fury's Gaze, and it may be worth the while to investigate. I make this suggestion only because your friend seems like a selfless sort. Rather than drawing the enemy to this tower, mayhap he elected to pass us by. Thank goodness you found me, Lavenza. I would have frozen or drowned or been eaten by a mud puppy if it wasn't for you. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I guess that's a selfless act to avoid help, <laughs> but I don't think that's something I would have done. I mean, especially to a fortified tower. Didn't reach all of them. Unfortunate. And all to no avail. Lavenza, were you able to learn anything? Not in this area? Well, that stands to reason, I suppose, seeing as he was trying to lure the Garleans away from me. But where within this vast sea of snow and ice could he be? That was like a... I don't know. It, almost a, a pointlessly quick quest. And his logic is sound, like... Like... Big or yeah, Wedge was headed in this way, so Biggs wouldn't be. Notorious Biggs. Wedge is determined to find Biggs. We can't give up, Lavenza. We must find Biggs before he succumbs to the cold or is recaptured. There must be someone in this tower who can help us, even if it's only to tell us where else to look. Ask them for me. Ask anyone who will listen. And hurry. Biggs's chances of survival grow slimmer by the moment. <laughs> nope. Still further. Actually, I can mount up and fly, can't I? Didn't really help because there wasn't that much left. <laughs> Your friend is lost in the wilderness, you say. If he is not to be found around here or in the vicinity of the Darkhold, it is possible he made for Whitebrim. To reach it, one must travel through Danifin Pass, the southern end of which lies to the north and east of here. While I make no guarantee that your search will bear fruit, it is surely better than worrying in idleness. I wish you luck. Oh, and one more thing. Do tread warily when climbing the stairs here. Not a moon ago, I near broke my neck when I slipped and took a tumble. Eesh. 
That's cool. I'll just mount up and gingerly fly down. Actually, does Wedge say anything new or? Nope. Ooh, got ourselves a little battle ahead of us. And the ladies. Lavenza, we found Biggs, but he's in trouble. Our orders are to take you back, dead or alive. Which will it be, Engineer? Why don't you come and find out, Tin Head? Ah, Lavenza, it is well that you are here. The situation is grave. Biggs is in a bad way. We need to do something. Right now. Ida has the right of it. He will perish if we delay. With me! He's not alone. Kill them all. How did you know where to find me? Hold your ground. Reinforcements are coming. The more the merrier. I'll pound you all into the next Umbral Era. Ida, less provoking and more pummeling, if you if you would be so kind. Vanguards, destroy them. Avenza, stay close to Biggs. How many of them are there? More than are conducive to merriment. Next time, Ida, have a care for what you wish. This is the last of them. Ah, didn't fail this one. <laughs> My thanks. Another moment and I would have... Uh... He has been too long in the cold. We must find shelter for him. Monument Tower, you say? Very well. Yida and I shall bear him there with all haste. Sid will be so happy to see Biggs and Wedge again. Uh, I love reunions. Yeah, Yida really does kind of come across as a different person than Lise. But, I mean, given the events of the time and everything, maybe. We'll have to just wait till we get there and see if it's a stark change or gradual. 
Although I wonder how different she is as a character after A Realm Reborn. Because maybe that's where the change starts to happen. I cannot thank you enough, Lavenza. And the same goes for the rest of you. Thank you all so much. Oh, don't mention it. We are family, are we not? Well, well, yes, it's just... It's just... I didn't think... I didn't think I'd ever see him again. <laughs> I don't quite have my sob sound down yet. I owe the lot of you my life. And you sir and you saved Wedge too, Lavenza. I'm losing count I'm losing count of how many times I owe you. Biggs, Wedge, God gods it's good to see the two of you again. Chief, it's you, it's really you. In our hearts, we knew you were still alive. But to finally see you in the flesh. When Alfino told me, told me of the raid on the Waking Sands, I feared the worst. What happened? The enemy struck with nary a warning. We didn't stand a chance. Wedge and I were in the workshop when they came. Before we knew what was happening, the Imperials had us at gunpoint. It must have been awful. There's there's one thing I don't understand, though. How did the Garleans get there so fast? I mean, the, imp the immortal flames should have seen them coming, right? I myself have, question have asked the same question. That day, when I returned to the car... Yeah, when I returned to the carnage of the Waking Sands... I noted odd amiss in Horizon, nothing at all to suggest the passing of an Imperial force. From this I conclude that the Garleans came neither by land nor by air. Nay, they were, they were born there by potent teleportation magics, magics of the kind used by the Asians. Carry on. We were bound and blindfolded and bundled into the cargo bay of a waiting airship. I can't rightly say how long we were aboard, but when the time came for us to disembark, we found ourselves in the midst of an imperial stronghold cast from sentry. Upon arrival, we were marched off into the main complex. Big Biggs and I were thrown into a de detainment cell together, while Minfilia and the others were taken elsewhere. That was the last we heard from them. Cast from Sentry. What happened next? Well, we were held in isolation for what felt like years, but was probably moons, or maybe only weeks. And then, without warning, the Imperials collected the pair of us and put us on another vessel, uh, which we found out was bound for Garlemald, much to our dread. We knew that if we were taken back there, we weren't like to leave again. So risky though it was, we sabotaged, sabotaged the ship's altitude control and thereby forced an emergency landing. And in the midst of the ensuing chaos, we managed to slip our captors. The rest, as they say, is history. Huh. If I didn't know better, I'd call that a likely story. Sabotaging the altitude controls of an airborne vessel? That, uh, that will have been Biggs' handiwork, like as not. You always were resourceful in a tight spot, my friend. Lavenza, thank you for returning my dear assistance to me. It would seem I owe you yet another gret of another debt of gratitude, gret of datitude. <laughs> uh, 
There are still many questions in my mind, but the answers can wait. Nymphili and the others still want for rescue. All right, you lot. Garland Iron Ironworks is back in business. Let's go and give the Imperials what for. Ha. Hurrah! Oh, he had a little animation of popping back up on the seat. Thank goodness you found me. Oh, you still have nothing new to say. After everybody coming back. I knew the chief was still alive. Deep down, I always knew. And he looks healthy, too. Well, he could do with a shave, I suppose. But other than that. Come into my castrum. Sid wants to prepare a strategy to rescue Minfilia and the other Scions. Thanks to you, Bidge and, B B Biggs and Wedge are with us again. Now we must find a way to rescue Minfili and the others. Gods know we've kept them waiting too long already. Based on what we've learned, I believe it's safe to say that uh, they're being held at Castrum Sentry. So let us convene at Revenant's Toll in Mordona. Uh, Tis as good a place as any to prepare, and better than most. The road leading east, then south, will get you there. When, when we arrive, let us seek the advice of the local adventurers. We're, we're bound to learn a thing or two that will benefit our mission. Okay, well, I'll re <laughs> now that we've found Biggs and Wedge, there's no reason for us to remain here any longer. Let us make for Revenant's Toll in Mordona. There we can make our plans to rescue the others. It's like I started reading it and I was like, oh, this is just what he just said. And then I was like, well, no, it's not exactly the same. And then it's like, should I read it? Shouldn't I? Blah. Oh, I guess I could just... Well, met friend, what brings you to Revenant's Toll? Did I hear you rightly? Your friends are being held captive at Castrum Sentry, and you want to rescue them? I don't mean to discourage you, but that might prove difficult. The stronghold has been on high alert of late, with armored patrols seen about the perimeter around the clock. Not even a fly could get within a hundred yalms of the walls undetected. If the Garleans were alerted to our coming, we cannot know what they will do to Minfili and the others. We must act with the greatest stealth. Aye, it has to be good old-fashioned infiltration. But with security so tight, how are we going to smuggle ourselves in? Why, I've a mind to walk through the front door. Huh? The front door? Aye. We'll disguise ourselves as Imperial troops and march right in. For this, we'll need a few sets of Imperial uniforms, a, a suit of Magitek armor, and impeccable timing. Huh. That's a bold strategy, but it just might work. Uh, where we are, there's certainly no shortage of opportunity to borrow the equipment. Knowing those Imperial bastards, they won't even suspect that we savage Aorzeans would think to use their technology. Then it's settled. If you're determined to go ahead with this, I'd recommend you speak with Glaumont. 
The fellow's got a personal grudge against the Empire and happens to know a deal about uh, Castrum Sentry besides. I've no doubt that he'd want he'd want to be our aid. Yida and I shall go to reconnoiter Garlean activity at the stronghold. It would not do if something were to befall our comrades before we had the chance to act. Come and join us when you're ready, Lavenza. Let's do this. Sometimes I wonder, Yida, are there ever times when you are not enthused? I'm nothing if not enthused, Yastola, and you're beginning to remind me of Papa Limo. Dressing up as soldiers and sneaking in the front door, huh? Well, if you've got the guts to go through with it, then so, then so do I. Oh boy, I always wanted my own Reaper. I would wash her and wax her and name her and... That has different connotations when you think about the class Reaper. And maybe somebody actually playing through New Game Plus as a Reaper. <laughs> Stealth and subterfuge, Lavenza, are how we will free our friends. I have every confidence you can play the part of an Imperial soldier. In the wake of the Calamity, the 4th Imperial Legion occupied what re remained of Castrum Novum, eventually rebuilding and renaming it Castrum Sentry. The stronghold contains immense manufacturing and storage facilities, and it is the primary supplier of material for Imperial forces stationed throughout Eorzea. Consequently, it is heavily defended. Infiltrating will not be easy. Nevertheless, it is necessary. Looking for Glaumund, are you? Well, you found him, whoever you are. Huh? You're looking to get inside Castrum Sentry. And you need my help? Huh. Something tells me we're going to get along just fine. Getting even with Garlemald. Glamont would like to aid in your mission to rescue the captive Scions. So you have friends at Castrum Sentry what want for rescue. That Slathborn knows me too well. Ah, uh, you can count on my help. I've got a score to settle with the Imperials, and I never pass on an opportunity to get back at the Horsons. Uh, but enough about me. Let's talk strategy. Rescuing folk, folk from captivities, uh, right? Okay, <laughs> rescuing folk from captivity is right delicate business. A single oversight, just one little blunder, and it's all over. Uh, you can't leave any room for uncertainty. For starters, you need to confirm beyond a shadow of a doubt that your friends are where you think they are. You don't want to risk your neck only to discover they've been moved elsewhere. But how can you find out, you ask? By following these instructions. If you approach Sentry from the east, you'll see a swampland to your left called the Tangle. Get in there, never mind all the morbles, and navigate your way to the southwestern corner. You'll come upon some drainage pipes uh, coming down from the stronghold. Don't ask me how I know, but one of them leads back up to the command tower. If you listen closely, you might might be as you can eavesdrop on some of the happenings within. Once you know for certain your friends are there, we'll move to the next stage of the operation. Now get going and Godspeed. Alright, a little bit of sewer diving. It is nice to go back through the story and, you know, kind of re-experience some of this stuff to 
get reminded of like just what some of the landmarks are because it's like I know that's there like I know that drainage pipe is there I don't remember at all like why it's there what it's all about The faint sound of conversation echoes down the pipe. What of the captive? Does she still refuse to speak? She may as well be a deaf mute for all the information we've gotten out of her. The others aren't much better. The Ellison gets on my nerves most of all. Every time he opens his mouth, it's <laughs> only to spout gibberish. I do wonder... Why is the Tribuna so obsessed with this Minfilia woman? They say she possesses some mystical power, something we Garleans don't have. Mystical power? Like the kind the Beastmen use? How am I supposed to bloody know? If you're so curious, why don't you ask the Tribunus yourself? As well, uh, as well try to tumble her. I like my head where it is. Thank you very much. Okay. I don't quite get what they mean by as well try to tumble her. Like fight her? Or get in bed with her? Either way. <laughs> our break is over. Best we get back to our stations. Oh, isn't that convenient? They just happen to uh, take their break right towards a uh, drainage. The footfalls grow fainter until all is silent. So I'm still wondering, like, I, I don't, because we still have the, what is it, Camp Westwind or whatever, and then uh, Castro Meridianum and Praetorium, and I don't know how far the, off those are. It is good to see you again, Levens. I've I'm given to understand you have conducted some reconnaissance. Tell me, what were you able to learn? So Minfili and the others are indeed at cast from Sentry. Their presence thus confirmed, we may proceed with the mission. While you were afield, Sid took the liberty of devising a plan of action. Pray have, have the details from him. Yeah. I always got to double check that dialogue. I'm just waiting for them to actually say something different, but... At least this early on, they don't change dialogue all that often, I guess. Good work, Lavenza. As Alphino has already told you, we've plotted out a course for the rescue. The gist of it is unchanged. We disguise ourselves as Imperial soldiers and infiltrate the stronghold. Glaumon is looking into ways to procure a suit of... Magitek armor. In the meantime, I need your assistance for some preparation of my own. Minfilia and the others are counting on us, Lavenza. Let's not keep them waiting any longer than necessary. See, and I'm pretty sure we rescued them before Meridianum and probably Westwind, so their rescue probably has nothing to do with any kind of dungeons. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. 
And if you want to watch me live, you can find the link to my Twitch down below. Have a great one.